الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبيه بعد أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا نحن نزلنا الذكر وإنا له الحافظ صدق الله عمر المبين Respected guest of honor and respected ulama and the Fazils, Alims who are passed out and the Muallimat, the students, nearly 30 who are sitting in the first floor and the students and respected elders and mothers and sisters. I think, think it took nearly 19 long years to see this wonderful and very happy and a gathering on this day. When somebody do some sacrifice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring the reality for that. I would like to pray for those who died and I myself and most of you very close to them. One is Marhum Haji Niyas and Marhum Khaja Haji. The both grandfathers of Umu Karam, who the grandfather Haji Niyas, a person who was martyred when he was driving to pick Yusuf Siram in 1996. And Haji Haji also, may Allah Ta'ala grant him Jannatul Firdaus, may Allah Ta'ala reward them for all what is happening here. They respected elders and brothers, mothers and sisters. It was in 1994-95 we used to think how we can bring this English medium, this environment into this country. That's what I said. It is nearly 19 long years struggle. Alhamdulillah. Granddaughter of Haji Niyas and Khaja Haji who travelled to South Africa Alhamdulillah she qualified and studied Dawlatul Hadis I think one of the first, first pioneer student in this country to be qualified in Dawlatul Hadis to learn all six books as our Maulavis were passed out today. She did it in, I think, most 1999. Once, past four or five years back, her Ustad Mufti Smail also came here to the same place. And later, when she came here, I requested their parents that she should go to Pakistan also. And Alhamdulillah, they arranged with Dr. Amjad in Karachi. And when we see, when we take care of something and do some fikr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring that reality. I want to mention some important points today. That all, all of us take these things very seriously. We are speaking in English language. Once upon a time, Ulama used to say, it is haram to speak English. It is haram to involve in this language. Why? What was the reason? I was with Dr. Khalid. He's one of the pioneer lecturer in Aligarh University. Last few days back in driving. When I met him, and I was discussing with him, He's a very 
closest person to Hadrati Yusuf Rahmatullah Ali and Hadrati Nawal Hassan Rahmatullah, Dr. Khalid's well known person, is a Siddiqi by family. He said, when I was lecturing in Aligarh University, I saw Yusuf Silani with trouser, shirt, and cap. He entered to the hostel with Haji Uwais and Haji Anifa. The Jamaat went in 1962 to Saudi Arabia and they came back to Delhi where Maulana Yusuf Rahimahullah said Haji Uwais can speak good English, let him go to Aligarh University. The Jamaat Haji Anifa and Yusuf Silani was Tashkil to Aligarh University. Dr. Khalid is now 78, 79 years old. He was discussing with me and Mufti Mafaz. He was saying, I saw after Maghrib prayers, a group of people with different dress, they are just moving in the university. Malala Yusuf Antullah, when he saw this Jamaat, he said, who is Haji can speak good English, you go to Aligarh University. He said, Haji Ways caught my hand and started speaking to me. And he said, what a wonderful place, how nice university, but very few students who are praying five time prayers. He said, his, that dawa, it touched my heart. And he said, you please gather people, students to the masjid and we are going to meet them after Isha. You may not know, when he said, I was carrying a small book. It is written, I purchased this book in 1984. It is written about Sir Sayyid. Sir Sayyid is a very known person who is the founder of Aligarh University. But his thoughts, his thinking was totally different. And even he was denying in few words Jannah. He sometimes spoke and ulama said he is not a Muslim, he is a kafir. Here my respected ulama, the respected fazils, respected scholars, we have started an institute in English language. We have to be very careful. There are thousand ulamas who have served in this country. They may not know the language. In any way, it shouldn't touch our heart or we should say that I can speak an international language. My humble request and advice, the first you all should take out from your heart. This thinking, this one of the language we are going to use as media to encourage and give dawah as Aji always gave dawah to Dr. Khalid. That is our intention. In not in any way, the girls who are passed out also should touch their heart that we are having, Alhamdulillah, we can speak language. No. In the name of Alhamdulillah, also shaitan will enter. Must be very careful on this. And you think about a second person, and my time is very less, in this I can elaborate a lot, but you have to study, you all have to study about Sir Sayyid, how he was, I think uh, the, the guest of honor may know more than me on this, he can touch also. The second thing, I was very keen to visit Oxford University, not to see Oxford but to see the center which was formed by our great scholar Maulana Abul Hassan Ali Nadwi Few years back, when I was in London, I said my few of my colleagues to let me go and visit. The research center was founded in 1980 by Maulana Abul Hassan Ali Nadwi with Umar Nasif and few other scholars from Saudi Arabia, 
He took that courage to take and found. You can go into Google and see how Maulana Ali Mia is involved in creating an institute in Western countries. He said, this deen should go to them. This English language is mean for that to reach them. Alhamdulillah, our great elders have done marvelous job. Allah will definitely reward them and let us also think in this manner. Let us show our humbleness, our kindness, our ilm will bring fruitful results if we have the humbleness in our life. The second important thing, the founders, they have done something, Alhamdulillah, they have done some sacrifice. I used to be very happy when the granddaughter of Khaja Haji and Niaz Haji, she used to ask some questions after she came, qualified from South Africa, came to Sri Lanka. And when she started teaching, she used to ask questions. But I was very happy. Ladies nowadays, very far from Dini knowledge, she was very keen to understand what our elders, what our books are saying on these points. I'll be very much thankful and every time I used to pray, a person like Molly Moaz, who is hiding himself here, I think more than everyone, he should give, be given the highest reward for this institute. Was that a marvelous job? With his piousness, I was inviting, come and sit with us. Not me or somebody else is eligible to sit here. He should be kept here. A person who lived for this. A person who did a lot of sacrifice. May Allah Ta'ala reward him because it is said in Ali's Anzilun Nasa Manazilahum Give the respect and honor for the people according to their respect and the words what have done. And Mawlana Fazil, no doubt, after when he went also, I met him in Saudi Arabia in, in 95 or something like that. I gave him a book and said, Mawlana, you have to focus on this in future because our ambition, our intention was that let this language, there are a lot of people who are not getting this because of this media, because of this language, lack of English language is creating unwanted doubts in the minds of people. Therefore, Alhamdulillah, the second, the third important point, the parents, the mothers, you must see into the sto history, the stories of Sahaba and Sahabiyah. One Ummu Hakim, one Ummu Sulaim, one Ummu Al-Fadl, radiyallahu anhu, how they created the environment. Ummu Al-Fadl, mother of Abdullah ibn Abbas, Ummu Sulaim, mother of Anas ibn Malik. Subhanallah, Ummu um, 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 Waraka, radiyallahu anhu, Hafizat Al-Quran, Barira, slave of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aisha radiyallahu anhu, slave Barira, great woman. The woman folk, their engagement in this knowledge will give us very, very courage and we can change. See, Hadrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, two sons, Ishaq and Ismail, two wives, Hajar and Ishaq. What great sacrifice Ibrahim alayhi salam did and but Hajar alayhi salam giving that environment to Ismail alayhi salam. Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave wonderful generation through that. Therefore, our mothers should read the stories of Sahaba. Sahabiyah especially, Umm al-Fadl radiallahu anha, how she did sacrifice. Umm al-Sulaim radiallahu anha, subhanallah, we have read that. Umm Hakim, Ikrimah, Abu Jahl's daughter-in-law. Abu Jahl's daughter-in-law, how she did sacrifice to bring Ikrimah. Respected mothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this environment. Have a worry. We must think here, our sisters and mothers, we are in Kalambu, Bambalapati, Dehiwala, Kulupati, and this Vellavatta, this environment, 
our ladies are getting knowledge. But if we go to various other villages and cities, our mothers and sisters are not having this environment. It's our duty and especially ulamas. They must think how we can go to remote areas, not in Colombo. How we can reach to remote areas and encourage them to bring this kind of institutes. I, from the beginning, I was telling that hostel is not necessary. Hostel, to spend a lot of money, to buy a place, all who are present should pray for this institute for Ain. In future, we should have our own land. All these years, we are in, not in our own lands, it is our rented two places. Rented places also can bring nice, fruitful results. It is not necessary that we should have our own lands to bring results for some good things. As Devan Jamia Darululun was begun by Qasim Nanotwi and Shaykhul Hind Mahmud al Hassan under Pomegranate 1 tree, they started that. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing fruits for entire world. I think uh, our uh, Mufti Saab who is here, he is also a student of Deoband. I am here also a student of Deoband. Deobandi is not necessary. Uh, Moral Abdul Khalik and Mufti Mafaz is Deobandi. No. Deobandi, when, when Mufti Qali Tayyib rahimahullah, he wrote a book, What is the Thinking of Deoband? It is not to point out and say that the one is such institute, no. Maulana Fazil went to South Africa and Mufti Javed went to South Africa. They are also linked with Devant. Devant is an institute where Qadish Sudais also can enter, Sheikh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh of Haram can come and Sheikh bin Baz Rahimahullah can come. The, all the respected scholars in Saudi Arabia and Azhar Sharif, they have been honored in Dewan. The, the, the sifat of Dewan to create a nation of knowledge and taqwa and ilm. And at last, I would like to give a few words to students who are qualified from this institute. Here to focus a few things. Number one, that we are living in a country where are majority non Muslims. We fail to give the amanat to this community. We fail to give. When I met we, Rolana Mubarak, and all our respected scholars went and met Mahanayak, the Mahanayak was saying that slaughtering is prohibited in real religion. Then my heart stopped crying. Oh! The Mahanaika who is living in Kandy so many years. I used to meet many friends in Kandy. They used to say, I am very close to Mahanaika. They are Muslims. I used to sell vehicle to him. I used to do this to him. I used to do this. But we are unable to explain our religion to them. We fail to do that. We scholars, we ulamas, everybody. We are answerable to Almighty Allah. Why this country? Why this mountains are? Creating un unwanted situation, when they create unwanted situation, many people are to doubt why, because we didn't perform our duty. Therefore, you scholars, take this target, our duty to explain who we are, who we are. The second important thing is, we must be united. Our knowledge is not for fighting, our knowledge is not for argument, our knowledge is to live as Share said in his daura that we should be closer to Almighty Allah, our activities, our, our dua, our loving to Almighty Allah, the Sunnah and the Quran, these are the qualities which are very important. Number three, the students, especially girls who will be qualified, you should spend your time at home. Not necessary, everybody must start one madrasa, 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 it's not necessary. Alhamdulillah, we have 250 madrasas in this country, nearly 45 to 50 girls madrasas are there. But every house should be a madrasa.
مدرسہ ٹیچنگ مکتب گرلس وی آر سینگ دیٹ وی آر فیسنگ اے سچویشن دس کنٹری وی ہیو ٹو تھاؤزینڈ فائیو ہنڈریڈ مسجد گرلس آلسو گوئنگ ٹو مسجد ٹو لرن قرآن In future, we must stop this. How to stop? We can't just say you go out from the masjid. No. Our girls, our muallima, our qualified girls should sit in their house and get some students neighboring. Four, five, three. As Mawlana well Fazil said, Shaykh Moiz, that you come, I am going to start from one student. Like that, let us start. Two, three, four, five, no harm. Family members keep them, Alhamdulillah, and teach them Quran. Alhamdulillah, we are having syllabus, Ma'riful Wahi in Tamil, English, Sinhalese, all three languages. It's available. You take that book and get that training and involve yourself in this. These are few words I would like to tell everybody should have their courage and the intention to reach far. And especially the, the, the ulamas who are qualified here, there are various areas to cover. As Maulana said in, in, in Bayan, the, the Fannu Rijal, Maulana Chishti, who is still living in Newtown, one of the great scholars who are specialized in this field among our ulamas. Very respected and very elderly person who is living in Karachi. You all can travel to them. And now we can arrange some visa also and how we can reach to him and get the knowledge. And I think here one of the scholars, many many may be not knowing, Maulana Ilyas and uh, Muhammad Lebahaji's son, he is also when when uh, when uh, uh, Mufti uh, Abdul Qadir ha Sahib was mentioning Albani, Rahimahullah, and I uh, remember Abdul Rashid Naumani and Mawlana Ilyas and few others as scholars who are here, they have done that part of knowledge, especially may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us, let us think in how we can go forward, what are the areas we have to be specially focused in future, what is the need of the hour and how we can be focused on this. And for girls, I would like to say my very much, uh, I'm very keen to start a very important area that is called counseling, counseling for ladies. In future, I last year I went to South Africa with one of my friends. I went to Jamiat al Ulama of South Africa. I saw how Jamiat al Ulama is focusing on counseling. 22 years experience. I would humbly request all the scholars, friends who are here, please join hands for this for this important task. Before going to Kazi, let them sit and take some counseling for their future.